everyone, welcome. My name is Morgan and today I'll be talking about five tips that will get you through sonography school. So the first tip I'm gonna talk about is, one, have a planner. There's so much going on in sonography school, so many assignments, so many tests. You need to have a planner. I mean, I'm just an organized person and I think you have to build up a sense of organization once you start this program because it's so intensive, there's so much going on, so many exams, quizzes, assignments, plus keeping up with clinicals, it can get overwhelming. So I would recommend getting a planner and writing down the due dates for all the assignments, all the tests, quizzes, anything that your teacher might have assigned to you write them down keep track so that you don't get lost because trust me it can happen even if you think you're the most organized person on earth you can you can like miss things sometimes trust me so yeah as i said it can get overwhelming but i would just recommend that you take everything step by step day by day don't look at your entire calendar and be like oh my god i have like five tests coming up and how many tests for the whole semester and feel overwhelmed just take it day by day test by test and it will be a much smoother process just work work at it work at it when you're studying you need to know what type of learner you are there are different types so you have the auto like people that like audio people that like pictures people that like music there's so many different types but i think those are like the main ones so some people can be visual learners, so they need pictures. They need to like see things in order to get it. Some people, they like to just listen. So you can go to a lecture hall and the teacher is talking and you're fine. Yeah, just know what type of learner you are and work from there. Because, you know, if you just go to class and you're like more of the type that needs to see pictures and write things down, you're just going to class listening, then clearly nothing is going to be retained you're not going to do as well so grasp what type of learner you are and work with that when you go home make notes do what you need to do in order to make the information stick because it's going to be so much harder on you if you wait for last minute to get all this stuff in your head and the test is coming up and you're like where did all the time go what did what was i doing but it's just because you weren't being proactive and writing down your notes tip number two do not do not do not procrastinate i know a lot of us procrastinate we leave things for last minute we work well under pressure if that's you then more power to you but in this program there is so much information you can i don't see how you can possibly wait for the night before the exam to study for it unless you have like superpowers or something so again, more parts if you're able to do that. Because I'm usually the type that studies last minute. But since starting this program, I was like, nope, this is not working out. I have to at least, the, the longest I take to start studying is two to three days before the exam. And I wouldn't even recommend that. That's like pushing it. Start studying at least a week before the exam. Procrastination, it will kill, it will kill, it will kill. You're just gonna feel so overwhelmed, so stressed. You're gonna come up on things that you're like, oh my gosh, I did not study that. And then you just feel like the world is ending because you know your test is like in a matter of less than 12 hours and you're like, you didn't study anything. So don't procrastinate, don't procrastinate. You'll feel 10 times better if you start ahead, get ahead. Each day, read your notes after class. If it's not the same day, at least the day after or the day after, the day after that. Just don't wait too long to review the notes that you went over in class. Tip number three, pay attention in class. I know this might sound like a given, but a lot of teachers, they tend to like say, highlight this, highlight that. Um, test question, they even say that, like they could say that, test question clearly put an asterisk highlight whatever he says that he or she says to highlight put an asterisk beside something that they say might be completely important something they might hint at and say oh it's going to be on the test it's going to be on the test make sure you know this if they say that definitely definitely put a million asterisks there highlight it write it down because you know it's a guaranteed question on the test so you don't want to like miss out on those things and 
you know easy easy giveaways you miss out on because you weren't paying attention in class and what are you here for to pay attention in class so definitely definitely pay attention in class i know the classes might be long and boring but it will pay off when you're getting that upper hand when the teacher is helping you out telling you exactly what to highlight exactly what will be on the test and exactly where to focus on tip number four and this tip might not work for everyone but study groups this didn't work for me but a lot of people it is completely helpful because you're having all these brains with all this different information coming together everyone helping each other out for me i felt overwhelmed because i was as i said i don't study exactly as soon as i learn information so i'm like further back and when you go in the study groups and they're ahead of you and they're saying stuff that you don't know you can get overwhelmed that's what happened with me so i stayed away from study groups because i felt like everyone knew all this information that i didn't know and i'm like Ugh. i know i will get to it it's not that i just didn't know and them telling me would help me it was a matter of oh my gosh i feel like everyone is so ahead of me and i'm slacking but that wasn't the case everyone works at a different pace some people are way ahead some people go at a steady pace and some people fall behind definitely don't be in the fall behind pack i go at a steady pace as i learn something probably the weekend i'll review it or the next week um that's just how i am that's what works for me study groups are definitely beneficial if you're on top of things and or if you like to have someone teach you things because as i said there are different students with different information asking questions different study material different resources different notes so that can help you out tremendously when you're gathering all the information and putting it together definitely definitely a plus but as i said it doesn't work for everyone the last tip tip number five rest take breaks i cannot stress this enough we cannot just keep going and going and going. We will crash. Trust me, we will crash. You can't. I don't see how people pull all-nighters. I mean, the latest I stay up until is like 1 or 2 in the morning, which some people might say is late, which is late for me. But there are people out there that are literally going the entire night like they don't sleep. They get up out of their, they, they leave their house and go straight to the exam after studying the entire night. I would not recommend that. Your brain needs sleep then you need fuel like in order to you know put put everything that you just took in studying you need to put it back on the paper but how is your brain gonna function if you didn't give it some rest so i would definitely not advise an all-nighter it's uh that's pretty risky and it's not good for your health at all so rest 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 take breaks don't study for long hours because you're gonna burn yourself out and then with burnout you get memory loss like it's just all bad so take breaks and definitely rest before the exam re-energize recharge so that the day of the exam it's fresh everything will just flow out and that's that's linked to not procrastinating because if you didn't procrastinate then you would have had no reason to pull an all-nighter so it's just all these negatives coming together so just keep on top of everything work ahead don't procrastinate review your notes as soon as they come in and rest and then all will be well on the exam if you're prepared you know you studied you will produce the grades that you deserve or the grades that you desire so yeah those are my five study tips they have helped me tremendously i'm in my second year now if you didn't already know of ultrasound school and i've been getting straight a's even since I started echocardiography, I've been getting all A's on my exams. And these are the techniques I've been using. I hope they help you because they definitely helped me. Just keep on top of everything at the end of the day and you will do well. That will be all for this video. If you have any questions, be free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back with more videos. Bye guys.